Sigma Art, a stamp that you'll find on Sigma lenses that means the best possible quality that Sigma produces for their prime lenses and zoom lenses. Sigma Art lenses have a huge reputation for build quality with relatively fast and accurate autofocus, but most well known for their unique lens pattern, which achieves critical sharpness. And Sigma has almost finished completely redesigning their whole Sigma Art series lineup from the pretty much prehistoric DLSR version to the new DG DN, which is exclusively designed for the new mirrorless cameras and unlike Canon Sony is bearing the fruits with this extremely affordable new art series lineup and they just released the 24 millimeter f 1.4 DG DN art series lens yeah that looks nice that actually looks sick right there yeah I love that Yeah, so I'll show you what we got. But maybe we'll get some more here because these are looking pretty slow. Maybe we'll get you standing about here, just in that sun. Yeah, nice. And then just looking towards me. And maybe just take one step down and then just a little tinny step that way, just to get your like half. Yeah, like that, yeah. Yeah, that looks sick. Oh, you're killing it. Of course you modeled before. If you guys don't have a 24 millimeter prime lens or you just never thought you would need to have one, think again, as you probably have one right in your pocket right now. I guess you wouldn't have guessed it, but the new iPhone's main camera is a 24 millimeter F1.8 prime lens. And before you even mention if 24 millimeter is a great focal length, either for portraits or landscape or travel, think again, as basically the whole world is using this lens. 24 millimeter is a focal length that has really grown on me as a photographer and filmmaker as I gain more experience. So I'm really inspired by one of my friends, Carlo O'Brien. He's basically made his career and brand identity using the 24 millimeter prime lens. And he takes amazing portraits, he takes amazing landscape, travel photography and wedding photography basically not always on a 24 millimeter, but that's just his brand and his identity. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna get one more where you're just leaning up against this wall and then looking towards me. Yeah, nice. Oh, these are on point. Oh, you're killing it. Oh, my shadow. I might just get a couple of close-ups if you're just leaning against the wall. And do you want to just reach towards the camera? Yeah. Frame it up like a picture. Yeah, yeah. Like a, like a photo, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. Maria, you got a shadow. Okay, yeah. Yeah, if you just look towards me. And then just move around, pop your collar. Quick pause. Um, if you guys are liking this video, well, you know what to do. There's a like button down below. If you're not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. Also, if you guys really like how I edited these photos, I actually do have a new preset pack that I've released and it's really based off film stocks that I love. Like here's an example of Kodak 400. Here's an example of Kodak Edgar. Here's an example of Kodak Gold that I love. So I'll leave a link down below. And if you go to my website, there's actually a free preset that you guys can try out. That's all linked below. Back to the video. Okay, let's go somewhere else though. Where else would we get where it would be like real sunny? You don't mind sitting down, eh? No. No. <laughs> yeah, I love this. And then look towards me. You 
could like even like like throw the shirt on, you know? Like continuously throw it on, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. And then just look towards your left. Oh, I almost fell in the water. <laughs> yeah, it's good content. Yeah, for video, you kind of just got to go through your movements how you were before. Kind of like a slow motion type yeah. posing, if you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like 60 frames per second so which gives you that 1.5 oh, I, I <laughs> so I was at like 60 frames per second which turns a 24 millimeter into a 35 millimeter so in terms of sharpness if you remember at the start of the video I kind of explained Sigma have a really unique lens pattern that really enables them to get very sharp images. And that's definitely the case with the 24 millimeter F1.4. Even wide open at 1.4, you can see the eye is tack sharp when the autofocus gets the eye. And in terms of build quality, it's, it's Sigma quality. Like it's kind of built like a tank. I do love the new aperture ring. That's really great for video users. Like you also get two really incredible switches that I love on the new Sigma lenses. And that being an autofocus to manual switch and a custom button. It is a redesign of the old DLSR version and it's actually a little bit smaller because the DSRs had a flange distance. With mirrorless cameras, you can basically put them right up against the sensor. Okay, somehow I completely deleted the last part of this video. So now we're just gonna talk about the autofocus of this lens. I do have one complaint with the new Sigma 24mm art series for the Sony email, and that being the autofocus. I expected way more from this lens, considering that it's a new lens from Sigma and it's their art series and it's a prime lens. When I was reviewing the photos, I did notice that it missed the eye and it would focus on the eyelash a bunch of times and also the nose a bunch of times and sometimes it just completely missed the autofocus mark. I just want to say a huge thank you to Mitch Lally. He actually did all the behind the scenes of the shoot and also shout out to Ali from Emerge Models. You did great. So guys, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe and also definitely check out my presets. Everything in this video was edited with my presets and my LUTs. If you go onto my website, there is that free preset. So try before you buy and we'll see you next time. Gonna direct for a bit and then we'll go up, back up to the stairs. Okay. Um, let me think. Or do you want to go up the stairs okay, while this? Okay. Oh, I think the sun's gone. <laughs>